Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring playing as the prisoner. Basically, a spell sword. And here we are at Fort Faroth. And this is my loadout. I've got the Twin Sage Glunstone Crown on and the Carrying Knight gear. And I put on the Exile Grease because the Carrion foot gear would put me into heavy load and I don't want that. Yep, so I replaced that with that. And I've got the Green Turtle Talisman, the Radagon Icon, and the Graven School Talisman. Beast Crest Heal Heater Shield, Meteoric Gore Blade, and the Meteorite Staff, which is what we're going to be using primarily throughout Fort Farab. And I've got my flask set to 2 and 8, which is just perfect, and the Loma Fascist at plus 4. Alright, and the two spells I have are... Magic Limp Blade and Glintstone Shard. These are going to carry us through all of Fort Faroth, which is essentially an extremely dangerous location. But you're rolling with Major Slack, so we're going to downgrade that to a relatively dangerous situation. Let's move on. We are here to get... The Dectus Medallion right half so that we can use the Grand Lift of Dectus. For this particular character build, this is really manageable, even though a lot of the enemies in here are extremely dangerous. Um, well, like I said, you know, we'll downgrade that to relatively dangerous. This thing here, this bat, we can handle with a couple of shards, two shards. The things to really watch out for are these... I forget what they're called, officially. These flying witch thingies. That one right there, see? You could take them down with 10 glint blades if you cast them up very quickly and then run away. So that's what we're going to do. Lock on. Okay, cast out 10, count them. Lock off and walk away. Takes them out every time. Refill. Is the second one here. Don't, there's a bat right there on the ground. Just leave them alone for now. And uh, just give me more bats up there. Leave them alone for now. We want to surprise attack the second bat lady here. Ten more glint plays. Same thing. Walk off and run out. And by the way, if you get in trouble, they will get close and they'll cast the Poisonous Mist spell on you. Hope everybody's got lots of neutralizing bonuses. I told you to farm up all the ingredients to get those, so I've got 12 ready to go. Have those ready to go in case you get poisoned, in case you, get, you screw it up. Alright, and the third... I think they're called Charmed Winged Dames or something like that, officially. Anyways, these things will one-shot you. If they get up and start clawing your face, it's pretty much instant death. Now there's a third one behind those boards right there. Um, she usually comes out to investigate as soon as you kill this bat here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh oh. There she is. off and run away. And I got poisoned. But not critically poisoned, but I want to get rid of it anyways. Okay. So that's all the bat ladies down. Now it's just bats left. Keep checking your lock on to make sure And there we go. Enemy group refills so they're all down. You could use your Lone Wolf Ashes in this area, but I don't recommend it. Save it. And these bat ladies 
they always drop a golden rune 9, which is worth 3,600 runes. It's like nuts. This is a great place to farm. Check it out. To strike that 3,800 runes. Alright, so that is it. This area is complete. Let's go upstairs. Here is what we came for. The Dectus Medallion, right. Now you can take the Grand De Grand Lift of Dectus. Uh, you can bail out now, but in here, down here, there's a lot more stuff. Well, strike that. There's one very important item at the end, and there's enemies here that are worth like 5,000 runes each. And we can easily take them down with the Glintstone Shard, so hey, cash in. All right. Basically, the, there are these uh, spectral knights, and just approach, like, walk softly, and get ready with your glintstone shard. Target them. Should take about six shards to take them down. So there's one dead ahead here. Just go slowly, because you don't want to get right up in their face. We don't want to go melee on them. We want to just get just close enough to spawn them, and then spam shard. Here he is. Okay, some of them will take five shots, others will take six shots. Okay, let's go down here. And this back way here, there's one right there. There we go. Watch your FP. There's another one down here. Should spawn in the corner, or if we go over there. There he is. That's three. That's four. That's five. I'm counting. I've never actually done a count on these spectral knights here. There's usually two that kind of box you in here, so you got to watch it. Make sure you get enough FP. Right in this corner here. Kind of an ambush. Here we go. See one right behind me. See one right behind me. And these guys will throw fireballs at you. I lost count again. Was that six seven? As you can see, I'm, I'm making bank here. I think that's all of them.
I think some of them may even respawn. At any rate, um, there's a big rat in there, pretty much guarding the item that we want. And let's go take care of the little rats first to give us some elbow room. Okay, there's a little rat over there. Let me just take out these and put on some cheap bone darts here. We're going to draw them out. So we're just going to throw a bone dart over there. Just to get his attention. There we go. Very good. And there's another little rat in here. It should be a golden rune 12. Cha-ching. You could jump across, make the jump across the gap there, but then you're going to be trapped in there with a the big rat. I don't recommend that. Instead. You could actually see, there's two of them. There's a big rat and a little rat. You actually get a, a line of fire on them. If you go up here and jump on the bags, give yourself some height. Anyway, I'm just going to spam out all my shards until my FB dro drops out. Okay, bottom's out. Refill. Okay, and I'm going to release the hounds. Get in there. Get in there, boys. Go get him. Get that rat. It's lunch time. Okay, I think these guys got it under control. Good job. And there may be another all three of you survived. Very good. Okay. Make the jump. Your dad's dead. Forget it. Alright. Very good. And the object of our desire is right in here. Radigan's sword seal. This is um this is an excellent talisman. I'm gonna replace the Grave Skill talisman with it. Okay, what it does the, I, you can see what it does. It bumps up your vigor, your endurance, your strength and dexterity by five points each. You will, however, take 15% more damage, but it's well worth it, I think. So, definitely going to use that. Alright, so we have everything we need, and this place is clear. Let's blow this popsicle stand. We want to go back to... Grand Lift of Dectus. Level up. Points into Intelligence. 
I actually got a little runes to sell too. Yeah, let's go cash all those in. Let's go to the Church of Ella. Fastest way to sell runes. I'm gonna level up again. Making bank here, boss. And probably like maybe five or six thousand short of, yeah, about six thousand. Let's just go to the ATM, make a little withdrawal. Got my my key spell here, um, rock sling. I took it off because I, whenever I go into an area, and I know I'm not going to use rock sling. By the way, don't use rock sling at Fort Faroth because it's just such a tight area. Your rocks are always going to bash into stuff, and you're going to lose the potency of it. Like you know, you're going to get two or only one or two rocks are going to hit. my rock sling. There you Chunking sound. Chung. So satisfying. That's all she wrote. Great, only 21 runes left. That's great. All right, so level up intelligence again, and let's go take the grand lift of Dectus up, and we'll be at the Altus Plateau. So you got the two halves. Once you got the two halves, you get this prompt here on this little circle here to hoist medallion, and well, hoist medallion. There you go.
this plateau. Wow. Certainly doesn't look like Kansas, Toto. And having talked to Raya, she should be just out here, off to the left. So don't kill those guys yet. Make sure you talk to her first. I've been waiting for you. You have? I okay. knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Cool. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Okay. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Alright, so we are now in Volcano Manor. Let's discover the side of grace here. And have a little talk with Lady Tanith. Lady Tanith, what say you? Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, a proprietress of this house. Okay. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise. I believe she said. Of course, we're Perhaps kicking ass. you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor? And resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace? Or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us. Against the Erd Tree. Uh, sure, why not? Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. Alright, so we have the drawing room key, and do you have anything else to the say? The drawing room is through the hall. Okay. Use the key I handed you, and make yourself comfortable. Alright, picking your nose. Alright, so, let's go, <laughs> let's go check out the... All the doors that the drawing room, or drawing room key can open, which is one right here. Ooh, goodies. Perfume bottle, okay. Door number two is nothing. Letter from Volcano Manor. I believe this is the same thing that Rai just gave us. Oh no, okay. A written request from Volcano Manor is disclosed in the name of a tarnished to be hunted, Old Knight Istvan. He can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. that on the, the to-do list and what you, say you what in heaven's name are you doing here the volcano manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind i hope you understand the weight of my words i understand well as long as you understand <laughs> what you're saying i thought you were tarnished bred by virtue Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. 
But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Okay, some nice happy thoughts from... Uh, what's your name again? This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting any of your... Okay, we already heard that one. Gotta think up some new material. Okay, Raya, what say you now? Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave tarnished, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. All right, so that's her dialogue exhausted. This is because that's the door I just checked. Yeah, okay. And this one is blocked. And that's it. And, uh, we can get a colossal weapon upstairs. Um, let me do that first thing next video. <laughs> no, I just want to, like, make sure that, you know, um, the strategy I have is solid and not just a fluke. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, post the comments, stuff like that there, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.